When I teach engineering design, I use a lot of examples from engineering history. Students sometimes ask me where I get those examples, and the answer is mostly books. So I thought I'd make a little video on history books for engineers and designers. I want to start with Engineering in the Mind's Eye. This is one of my favorite books of all time. This is a history of engineering that's also an explanation of engineering. It talks about how drawings and models have made engineering possible and how developments in ways of drawing and making models have made engineering ever more powerful. It has some interesting examples like sketches by Edison. It has a whole section on how famous engineers from the Renaissance copied off of each other. Their notebooks are full of copies of each other's drawings. I love this bit about how drawings that were copied by people who actually didn't understand the machines turn out drawings that just wouldn't work, they're just strange. And it just gives an overall explanation of why drawing and making models and sketching are so important for design work. So like I said, this is one of my favorite books. If there's one book from this list you read, make it this one. Another favorite is The Evolution of Useful Things by Henry Petrosky. This is much more a history of specific technologies. For instance, how the zipper got developed or something simple like paper clips. And it turns out that it's actually not clear who invented the classic paper clip, but it is clear who invented the first machine for making those paper clips, because that turned out to be much more important. So this is mainly a fun set of histories of specific technologies. The chapters are all independent of each other, so it's easy reading. Another book by the same author is Design Paradigms. This one describes case histories and what goes wrong in engineering. So this is about bridges falling down, about Galileo getting his calculations wrong and why, and how seemingly simple changes to designs can have massive effects. Petrosky is a civil engineer, so this is mainly about structures, not really about mechanisms and products, but still, I enjoyed it. A book that is much more about mechanical engineering and product design is this one. It's a much more recent book about the history of bikes a little bit, but mainly cars. This one is a little bit lighter on the images. This is much more a story written in text. But what I really liked about this book is that it's a great description of how technology and society interact. And what this story really nicely shows is that the way cars developed and the way that they shaped our lives, our cities, our entire way of life, it wasn't inevitable. There were electric cars at the start of automobile development, there were steam-powered cars still at the start of automobile development, and gasoline-powered cars didn't just win because they had longer range, for instance, but also because in those early days, development of cars was very much focused on making fast luxury cars for rich people, and not so much shared taxi-like electric cars for movement within cities, for instance. It's well written, easy to read, recommended. The next one is again one of my favorite, favorite books. It's The Wright Brothers by David McCullough. Now you might think that this is mainly interesting for aerospace engineers, but what this story shows beautifully is how engineering is teamwork. Of course, there were two of them, but they were also helped out massively by people working in their bicycle shop. They were bike mechanics. They were helped out by their sister a lot. They learned how to build stuff from their mom. It's just a wonderful story. It's also super impressive to see how systematically they approach things. They discovered that most of the knowledge on how you might be able to fly was just plain wrong. So they built their own wind tunnel. They built kites to test their theories. They kept at it. And it's just wonderful to read how in the end they were able to do something so amazing. Most of these books run a few hundred pages. So if you're looking for something smaller, something quicker to read, I can recommend this one, One Good Turn. It's sort of a detective story about the author trying to find out when the first screwdriver was actually made and used. So this is a story that doesn't follow an engineer or a technological development. It follows the author as he tries to find out. It's fun to read. Finally, if you do have a lot of time on your hands, this is also a good pick. Exactly by Simon Winchester describes the history of how we were able to make ever more precise machines and products. Again, this is quite the investment in terms of reading time, but it does describe the history of some of the most important elements of engineering design, where tolerances came from, for instance, and how interchangeable parts were invented. So again, if you have the time, I do recommend it. I hope that was useful. If you have your own tips, leave them below. Otherwise, happy reading, and I'll see you around.